Hello? Kenneth Greer, good morning. Morning. It's Gary in Bristol from Kiss Country 93.7. And I know you're thinking, oh, my God, what in the world have I done to get these two to call me? But I promise if you can give us a minute, you're going to love where we're going to take you on this. Have okay. you heard of a, a someone named Chris McGarity? I know Gary knows this person. Uh, yes, I, I know Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Do you claim him? Because every once in a while I see Gary's got that look on his face like I may or may not claim him as my friend. <laughs> I, I can see that fake look, too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, he wrote us a letter about you, and we were hoping we could read it to you, Kenneth. Okay. Now, strap in, because this is long. I'm just going to hope you got your coffee with you, okay? I do. He says, one of my favorite movies growing up was The Wizard of Oz. In one of the closing scenes, Dorothy meets the wizard. The wizard appeared great and ominous, and as Dorothy talks to the wizard, Toto runs to the side and pulls on a closed curtain. And behind the curtain is an ordinary man who is controlling the display and is the real wizard. The wizard states, ignore the man behind the curtain. Well, Kenneth Greer is that man. Kenneth is the backbone of the Minden St. Jude auction. He's a longtime volunteer who not only works the four days of the auction, but year-round. In the early days, each pledge and bid were written onto carbonless forms. All the transactions were in person or via the phone bank. When the idea of moving to computers was pitched to the committee, we had a leader state the internet would never work with the auction, but it wasn't Kenneth. He took it in stride and said he'd do whatever it took to make it work. In 2007, the auction moved from a handwritten paper intensive system to a computer based system. This was due to Kenneth Greer. Kenneth wrote the program and meticulously worked through each step. From 2007 to current, Kenneth and his team began on, uh, began on the Monday before the auction, and they transformed the Minden Civic Center into the electronic brains of the auction. During the auction, Kenneth is the first to arrive and the last to leave each day. Kenneth is everywhere, helping with all facets. You often hear, where's Kenneth? Or just, Kenneth! Yelled across the Civic Center when a problem occurs. Kenneth is there every hour except for when he leaves Wednesday and Sunday evenings to attend church. Kenneth's work does not stop after the auction. Kenneth submits the data to St. Jude for billing of the Partners in Hope and creates a database used to bill other bids and pledges locally. The software designed by Kenneth for the auction is a project that he is in continuously improving upon. It's true that nothing is idiot-proof, but he continues to try. Several executives for St. Jude have traveled to Minden to see Kenneth work. Kenneth will deflect any praise and try to pass it on to his team, but he is the leader and the knowledge. Kenneth is also a member of Eastside Missionary Baptist Church. Kenneth was the music director for years before taking a year off. Kenneth also manages the Eastside IT program and led the way to broadcast services during COVID. Kenneth manages the missionary programs for the church. As with St. Jude, Kenneth is generally the first to arrive and the last to leave at church as well. I believe that Kenneth is an incredibly worthy person, and he is truly the unsung hero looking for no recognition, but is doing his best to serve his God and his community. And that is why you are this week's Kiss Country Caught in the Act recipient. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. Wow. So is it time for a nap? You, you you do so much, you know, and you and it wasn't that long ago that the auction came around. I mean, you just need a nap, right? don't you? <laughs> well, I'm just I saying I'm tired thinking of everything you do, Kenneth. Uh, I appreciate that. I really do. Well, we are gonna we're gonna throw in a one hundred dollar gift certificate to go have a great meal at Silver Star. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. Okay, sounds great. Now you better not hold that and put that in the auction. <laughs> I won't. <clears throat> I know where that place is. <laughs> Kenneth, thank you for being so amazing. What? Well, uh, thank you. What got you started with the auction? Uh. My wife and my, of course, my sister died of cancer too. I I knew it had to be personal with that kind of a labor of love. I don't know what to say. Well, Kenneth, I'm going to tell you right now, you made all of our hearts smile. So thank you and keep doing that. As God allow me, I will. <laughs>